So this is why I don't recommend Amazon FBA as a side hustle. Look, Amazon is an extremely competitive marketplace. Um, there's Whether you're doing online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, private label, whatever you are doing, right, wholesale, you're going to have not only competition on particular listings, uh, but sometimes people move to private label type stuff and they assume, oh, that's competition gone, you know, brand register, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. You know, sort of the beginning. You know, if you want to move into the private label or creating your own listings, sort of bundle space, whatever you're doing, you're going to have not, not competition on that listing anymore, but you're going to have competition coming to you at all ends, trying to knock you off that top spot, trying to make better offerings. They're going to undercut you on different listings, etc. So that means that you've got to then deploy more skills in terms of better photography, better product offering, better keyword research, better, better listing optimization, better Amazon PPC advertising. All of this stuff you've got to then utilize into your new product offering. Um, so the reason I don't recommend as a side hustle doesn't mean that you can't make a little bit of money from a side hustle of Amazon but I just think that there's probably better side hustles to do I think it's an okay side hustle guys I think it's okay but I just I think it's just such a competitive marketplace that as soon as you start maybe making a bit of money as a side hustle you might think like oh all this price tanking or you'll be like oh just when I rank that product now a competition's come with a better one and it's taken some of my sales away and that's just the reality that I've seen and if I wasn't putting my all into Amazon like building a brand you know like building a proper brand on Amazon um, we do online arbitrage in the USA as well um, you know, I spend a lot of time outsourcing that and making the the, the systems and procedures better. Um, and if and if that gets too saturated, then we will spend a lot of time figuring out a pivot model. It's not as easy as just you know, oh, let's go down and you know resell these products and and, it, and it's fine. No, it's it's a forever changing platform, and it's, it's it can be so competitive at times. Some of your products will get completely trashed in price if you're doing arbitrage or wholesale, and you've just got to take that and stomach that. And if you're doing it as a side hustle you know you might not have the volume or the volume of SKUs to sort of part with that and you might just give up or you might lose money if you're doing like private label or launching your own products in any sort of form or listing in any sense you're going to see competition especially if you launch a good product where they're going to try and take that market share from you and launch competing products um, it's a lot to keep up with as a side hustle that's all I'm saying I'm not saying it's not possible but I wouldn't recommend it what I would recommend is going all in <laughs> like you know you're gonna have to start I don't like calling things a side hustle um, I would start this as a, a new business rather than calling it a side hustle it's my new business that's what I would call it and I would focus on making that a machine because there's one thing you can do on Amazon if you can get scale you can do volume games and when you're offering really good products and you're doing a volume game and you've got good systems and procedures and operations that's when you're really hard to uh, compete with you know um, the people that I see that are most successful, um, they, they, they're either, re they're, they're usually really good at sort of scaling uh, or, you know, the systems, their procedures are good. So they, they, therefore they know exactly how much volume they need to make the profit they want or they're creative, you know, and then they're launching the best products that are really hard to compete against because they're, as I say, they're putting a lot of effort and time into being the best or outsourcing their Amazon PPC. They're being the best or put or outsourcing the photography. They're being the best or outsourcing their keywords. They're, you know, they're targeting their listing creation. Um, it's, as I say, it's hard to keep up with, guys. If you're doing this as a side hustle, it's not, not possible, but just know that Amazon is moving the goalposts at all time. It's always moving the goalposts, so you can't just set and forget products, you know? Like, I've got a product that's been running for maybe a year and a half now, uh, and I can see, although it's a very good product and we're rank, ranked in loads of keywords, etc. unfortunately, there's there's been a new thing called HFSS regulations, and I can no longer advertise on that listing because it's deemed unhealthy. Um, and, and, and that means that we can't keep that organic rank there forever because f including myself, there's brands and myself that are trying to constantly knock my top selling products including that one, off the top spot. Um, and they can use advertising. Um, they can improve their products. That product's going to go soon. You know, It's going to go because as much as I hate to admit it, we can't advertise on it so we can't keep we can't keep that listing in the place that it needs to be um and so therefore all i can do is create a new product to compete against my own product 
and then try and rank that and try and make that even better and do really good advertising on that. So if you're doing this as a side hustle, I mean, do you think you've got time to keep up with all that? Or do you think you're going to launch it, earn a little bit of money, and then maybe it's you know sort of going to die out a little bit? I don't know. It depends ultimately how much time you put into this. And I just don't think I could see myself doing this as a side hustle and actually making enough money for it to be worth it, guys. That's the issue that I'm saying. Um, if I wanted to go away for a month and do something else and not work on in growing this business, I could do that because I've outsourced my business. I could do it for an hour a day if I wanted. But what the reason I don't do that is because 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 the business would be dying. That month away, if I didn't work on creating new products, which I do, the business would be dying. Um, so in the future, could I get it to a stage where I just do an hour or two a day? Absolutely, if I get someone to create products for me. Um, but right now, no, I couldn't do that because I have to be always making sure that I'm competing with that competition. Otherwise, as I say, it's such a competitive marketplace, you're going to be getting knocked further and further and down. Um, now, it does depend you know, what strategy you do, and it depends what marketplace you are in. Um, but usually, you know, it won't last forever, this business, unless you're doing it full time and always looking uh, you know to, to to strive to be better that's 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 just my thoughts on this guys guys and girls i just think that i'm not sure i'd recommend it as a side hustle it's sort of okay but i think you have to be all in because you have to be ever adapting on this extremely competitive marketplace so i hope that video has helped and i'll see you in the next one Hey guys, me again. Just a quick interruption just to tell you that Sellable is sponsoring this video and there's a two month free trial to Sellable which I've been using for years now which is a Amazon seller and Shopify seller it's a profit dashboard which gives you your monthly profits etc. I've been using it for a long time as I say. Also gives you the ability to get your refunds, your reimbursements that are owed to you from Amazon back and we get hundreds of pounds a week back by using Sellerboard and sending them reports off. So as I say, get the two month free trial and check it out because it is an awesome bit of kit. Anyway, let's get back to the video.